Welcome King Lizard Xbox 360 and Forza Motorsport 4. This is the second of the event list races for the Talon TSI series uh, Eagle Car um, or even Eagle TSI Talon in C Class. So this is a C425 um, configuration car. It's not tuned, it's computer. Uh, game upgraded I should say. My original one was a B600 and I couldn't be bothered to set up a 425 tune so I went with what the computer gave me. It's a little bit slidier than my tune that's for sure. Oh, Tim didn't want to do that. So in fourth place at the moment. Quite a sweeping, I can normally gain some ground on this section if I can push through which I can and the car hold it will. Excellent. So we're in the second lap of five. Bit of late braking to catch me up with these guys. Quite a tight section this so I'm not going to try and overtake here. What I will do is try and slip in second there, which I did, I don't know where that yellow car is, so it could be on my inner. To back off a bit there, I thought I was going to hit him. I'm trying to do this obviously as cleanly and fairly as possible. Up against the hardest level of AI that the game can offer, um, which is why this a four upgrade that it gave me makes it so much harder. I didn't actually do anywhere near as bad as I thought it was. I thought I was going to land up second or third in this race. But um, I think I just know this Sukuba track so well. Um, sorry, I did meant to say we were racing on Sukuba. Um, obviously, this is one of the smaller circuits out of the Forza series. It's definitely in Forza 2. I'm not sure about the very first Forza, um, but I will be able to acknowledge that in the not too distant future because I've purchased um, Forza Motorsport on the Xbox very recently um, because it's compatible with the 360. Now I was a PS2 guy so I never actually got to play the original Forza Motorsport. Um, I was too busy playing the likes of uh, Gran Turismo 3 and stuff so um, I'm looking forward to taking a look at that when I get a moment. Obviously I've got a lot of other things going on at my site at the moment on King's Game Lounge. Um, I've got my weekly series for um, Survival Saturday and Sunday, which is beat 'em up game. Saturday is Killer Instinct Season, now Season 2, it used to be Season 1. Um, pretty much the same characters. And on a Sunday I alternate games, so I try to make it interesting, put some different games on. Even dug out DOA 3 on the Xbox uh, the other week still you know, a great fun game to play, um, especially with the environmental, so a bit of a retro gamer as well in some respects, um, but unfortunately I've only got kind of Xbox games that are compatible with Xbox 360 and uh, Xbox One at the moment. So we're into the final lap, I've got a reasonable lead on these guys, nothing a mistake won't fix of course. Um, and then after I've done this race, I'll set off the replay for you um, and carry on talking. And then what I'll do at the end of the race, I did say I was going to put the leaderboard up for the last talent race. I, right at the end, I just clipped it just before the end of the race finished, so I didn't get to record the leaderboard. Um, but I was actually slower than my original best time, which was in an MR2, by one second. So. Um, however, I was driving manual um, in the MR2, so I actually did pretty well in an automatic to get the time that I did. So I'm down to 52 seconds here on a C425 plus. Welcome, King Lizard, Xbox 360 and Forza Motorsport 4. This is uh, Sukuba uh, Circuit, which I think is in Japan. Um, and I'm racing C425 class. This is an eventless race with Forza Motorsport 4. Um, and it is the Tal Eagle Talon TSI race. So 
so the car I'm driving is actually um, a Forza 4 upgrade, an automatic upgrade, because my Talon is a B600 class, not a C425. And um, I didn't want to go through the hassle of you know setting up a 425 when I use that current 600 generally. So I let the computer do it for me. Give me a tougher race with these um, hardest level AI in the game. Um, obviously it's all down to the driving line and stuff and just choosing the right moments. Obviously trying to keep the race clean. I do have a little bit of a nick in the front there. Again, I um, seem to favour that side when I'm having a, an accident. But this Sakuba circuit obviously you know, was in Forza 2 as well as Forza 3. Um, not in Forza 5 though, which is a shame because it's a nice small circuit for some of the, um, the lower spec cars. Feels reasonably close together still, it's kind of slowly splitting off into a couple of packs. We've got some real tight racing between me and the, and the next two cars. So this point is probably where I'm going to try and take him. Yeah, there we go. On the outside, the car's holding nicely, so you know what falls the most what four gave me as an upgrade actually wasn't that bad. Especially to beat these cars in hard AI, or um, well, hardest AI. I didn't think I'd be getting a first place, I thought I'd be getting a second or a third, um, to be fair. Um, this this car though, especially as a you know a C or a B class car, it's actually you know got some very good speed. And it's also quite a nice handling car, so it's a pretty good all-rounder, the um, Eagle Talon. Um, definitely one I would recommend to anyone that hasn't tried it yet. bring us into lap four. Yep. Really pushing that outside there, just started to lose the back end a little bit. Getting a bit of distance between second and third there. That's us into lap four now. Now I've still got um, quite a lot of um, ideas and things I'm doing for my King Lizards game lounge. Um, a lot of racing based games, um, you know, I think motorsports is one of my um, key areas that I'm good at. Um, so it's obviously going to be one of my primary focuses. Um, one of the next major focuses I'll have next year will be Project Cars. Um, right now though I'll be sticking with Forza 5, Horizon 2, um, and obviously, you know, Motorsport 4, I'll even be digging up some more oldies, the original Falls of Motorsport, as I said, on Xbox. Um, I also managed to pick up um, Rally Sport Challenge for the Xbox, uh, as well as Burnout 3, um, which was an awesome game, uh, Burnout 3 Takedown. So, you know, I'm not just looking at the latest and greatest titles, I'm also going to go backwards, dig out some of my other racing games, and I do have plenty. Um, so we're coming into the last few corners here. Lap five. So my best at the moment is a 52.563. We'll see what the end result is when I stick that leaderboard up after this after this replay. So I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you for watching. Um, do subscribe to King Lizard's Game Lounge if you haven't. I'll put plenty of gaming content on. I've already got 300 videos up in two months. See you soon. There you have it. Top 17% in the world. 64,006 um, out of 373,000 players. Um, I'm actually just, just over six seconds off the leader. Um, you know, number one. So I could probably squeeze some more time off that. But that was driving a Toyota um, MR. Dash SO2 in 2012, so a couple of years ago I broke that one. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, I'll be back again soon. Take care.